Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into equiangular triangles. So, first of all, let us see what are equiangular figures. A plane figure with the following features are called equiangular polygons. The features are the angles of one polygon must be equal to the angles of the other polygon. And the second feature is that the corresponding sides of polygons must be proportional. So, if two plane figures satisfy these conditions, the two figures are said to be equiangular. Then you have to remember the following facts. The first thing is that equiangular figures are also called similar figures. So if they tell equiangular triangles or similar triangles, both means the same. On the other hand, two congruent triangles are always similar or equiangular. But you should remember two equiangular triangles may not be congruent. And the next thing is if two angles of a triangle is equal to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar because definitely the remaining third angles must be equal because always the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180. So these three factors are to be kept in mind when you deal with equiangular figures. Now let's look into the first theorem on equiangular triangles. The theorem says if two triangles are equiangular, then the corresponding sides are proportional. Now look at this diagram. There are two triangles A, B, C and P, Q, R. Some angles are marked as equal. So then we can write according to the given data, angle A and angle Q are equal. Then angle C and angle P are equal. These are data. Since two angles are equal, definitely the third angle must be equal. So you can write angle B is equal to angle R. That is because it is the third angle. So if the three angles of one triangle are equal to the three angles of another triangle, the two triangles become equiangular. So then we write triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Three parallel straight lines as I have marked between ABC and PQR is the symbol used to show the similar triangles or similar polygons. So here you can use this symbol to show equiangular triangles. Now because these two e triangles are equiangular we can write the corresponding sides like this and they are proportional. So this is the first theorem related to equiangular triangles. And the converse of this theorem is the second theorem. That is, if the three sides of a triangle are proportional to the three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are equiangular. Now previously, if the triangles are equiangular, sides are proportional. Here, if the sides are proportional, the two triangles are equiangular. Now look at this diagram. From the diagram, uh, it is given that the sides are proportional so that we can say angle A is equal to Q, angle C is equal to P, B is equal to R. Therefore, the two triangles are equiangular. Right. Now, let's see how to work out some questions under this equiangular triangles. Look at the first example over here. Find the length of the sides represented by unknown terms. Now, here two triangles are given STU and WXY. Uh, two of the sides of each of the triangles are mentioned and there are two unknown sides E and D. So, with the help of the theorem, we are going to find out what is E and what is D. So, from the given data, we can write down angle S is equal to angle Y and angle T is equal to angle X. These things are given in the diagram. Then uh, as we know, angle U and angle W are equal because they are the third angles. So since the three angles are equal to the three angles of the other triangle, we can say the triangle STU is equiangular to triangle WXY. And then we can write this relationship. So when you write down the proportionality, always you have to select 
the sides carefully. Now, SU is opposite to angle T. The respective side opposite to angle X, which is equal to T, is WY. So, SU over WY is equal to UT over WX. So, when you substitute the values, you get 10 over 10 is equal to 8 over D. So, here zeros can be cancelled. When you cross multiply, you get D is equal to 8 centimeters. On the other hand, in order to find E, we write SU over WY is equal to ST over XY. Once substituted, you again get 10 over 10 is equal to E over 5. Zeros can be cancelled. Cross multiplication gives you E is equal to 5. So here D and E are simply found like this. Right. Then let's go to another example. Show the pair of triangles are equiangular and find Y. Now in this case, first we have to show the two triangles are equiangular. Only one angle is equal according to the data. So in this case, the angle GHI is equal to angle IKJ. Both are equal to 30. That is given. And then you can write angle GIH and angle JIK, that is this angle and this angle. You can simply see they are vertically opposite angles, so these two angles are equal. And then the next point, HGI angle and IJK are equal because they are the third angles. Therefore, now we can say the two triangles are similar. Once when you prove they are similar, you can reduce the proportionality. So here I write GI over IJ is equal to GH over JK. So when values are substituted, you get 4 over Y is equal to 8 over 15. So here 4 and 8 can be cancelled like that. You have 2 4s in 8, so I write 2 over there. And when you cross multiply, you get 2Y is equal to 15. That says y is equal to 7.5 centimeters. So this is how you simplify a question of this sort. We'll come to a final example. Now this is a proof. PA is a diameter of the circle of the triangle PQR. The PB line is perpendicular to QR. So we have to prove the triangles PQA and PBR are equiangular. So first, let me write what are the two triangles we are considering. We are considering PQA and PBR because here a few triangles are there. You have to clearly mention the triangles you consider. Now in these two triangles, you can see that PQA angle is 90 because it is an angle in the semicircle. So that is 90 and therefore you can say angle PQA and PBR are equal. So then on the other hand you can write down PAQ and PRB are equal because both of them are subtended by the same segment PQ. Right? Then if when two triangles are equal, the two angles are equal, well, the remaining two angles also must be equal. So QPA and PBR are equal, those are the third angles. Therefore, you can write down the two triangles are similar. And then the second part is to prove PQ over PB is equal to PA over PR. So first we can write that these two triangles are similar. That is already proved. So once when they are proved similar, you can write down this proportionality because they are the corresponding sides and they are proportional. So this is how you complete the example over here. So hope I made myself clear about equiangular triangles and the theorems on it and how to apply the theorems in questions. So see you with another smart method. Until then, goodbye.